we go. We got all our stuff down to the staging area down here, which is a ton of stuff. Look at all this. We got motors. We got uh, chains. We got ladders. Uh, hoses, zip lines, dredges, loose boxes. We got all this stuff. And uh, this is my uh, tree right here. I'm gonna uh, set up the zip line from this tree, going all the way down across uh, the river down there and uh, there's a white birch down there and uh, I'm gonna tie the other end of that one and be able to get all our stuff down across the river pretty easy so it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier to get all this stuff down with uh, using the zip line so that's where I am right now I'm gonna set that up and uh, we should be able to get to dredging pretty soon All right, so the bottom part of the zip line is uh, real easy. All you need is just one simple strap to wrap around a tree and um, just one of these buckles slides in both these straps and you slide it into this loop that I already got um, pre-done here and that's all it is on the bottom side and uh, and we'll just tighten it up um, on the top side here. So the bottom side, just gotta bring the cable down, wrap it just around a tree and just buckle it in. That's it, it's super easy. And that's what I'm about to do right now. So the only trick with uh, doing this cable by yourself is when you're taking it down is uh, you don't want it to spool up on you, which is kind of tough. So you just want to go at a slow, steady pace and hopefully it won't like bird's nest on you. And if it does, then yeah, got to come back up and fix it. All right, she's unlocked. So hopefully she won't spool up on me. And of course it's cooled up. Just short of where I needed to go too. Oh man. Almost made it too. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> more gas. <yeah. laughs> really close. Well, I'm gonna take it down and say good morning to us. Alright. All right, so I got my line going all the way down there. I had to uh, go back down and reset it because uh, I got jammed up on that log right there and uh, I was just shy of hitting my mark down there. So I had to come back up and and uh, re redo the spool. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm back, uh, I'm back up here and uh, just putting on my three quick clamps. So what I have, I got the come along up in the tree right there and uh, I just clamped the come along uh, line to the, the zip line here and put on uh, three clamps. So I'm gonna finish tightening up this last one and then I'm gonna uh, clamp her up. And hopefully, and we'll take all that slack out. I don't know, this come along line isn't that long, so I hope this works. If not, I'll just uh, reset it and do it again. That's all. All right, so let me finish this up and uh, we'll have a zip line going. I think it's going to be tight enough. It's pretty tight. All right, that's pretty tight. So uh, tension's looking pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to leave it there for now because these trees might adjust a little bit and slacken it up. So once it slackens up, I can just uh, retighten it with this. Yeah, stuff makes video. Dude, look at all that stuff. Maybe we'll send Goucha down in this sling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We got to bring all this shit down there. Hey, that would make it a lot of fun. I see the dog going down <laughs> in the sling. Look at all. We got a whole trail. <laughs> Putting the puppy in the sling. Yeah. In the bag. Funny. She would do you want to go for a ride? She'd love the ride. Don't you go. go for a ride. You want to go for a ride? Do you go for a ride? You like Good it? Good dog. You want to go in the basket? It's like, all right, you guys are planning something. You going to find Nugget? Get the gold? Nugget? Nuggets? We love nuggets. Oh, uh, yeah. Love the nuggets. There's nuggets. Get the nuggets. Love the nuggets. All right, we got a lot of work to do. Oh, hey. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sun's going down on us. Burning daylight. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, so, so much shit, dude. Okay, well, it looks like we're a little uh, afraid, but. Well, Use at your own risk if no. your shit goes down the hill. Well, you know what we need to do is put some gorilla tape, fucking like this, like this, and then yeah. fucking wrap it and just reinforce it. We'll I, I, it. I, I do have another bag. Man, I got gorilla tape. I'm trying to survival. see if that cart's gonna fit in here, and I don't. Nah. I, don't, I think it should be too much abuse on the uh, just bag. Put the shit in the we'll just put the shit in the bag. Yeah, that's fine. Shit in the bag. Shit in put the, the bag. shit in the bag. It's shit in the bag. Hey, you're the loading professional, so let's just watch you work. I'll hold up, help, do whatever. That's it. What goes on first? Those square crates, probably? Anything, anything. Well, it's all going, so. Uh, yeah, we take some crates down and. Get, grab those green crates. Here, I'll help. <laughs> yeah, I'll sit here giving it. orders. No, I got it, I got it. We, un we, I don't know, we untied it, I guess. So that's the bucket. I got the tag on it. Teamwork, I love it. Really, huh? I think she's full. She's full. Who says she's full? What do you think? We're good. Survey says it looks nice and nice. Yeah. Well, I, see. Well, we got a I think you need to stand over there. I think it's so. Go back out. Run yourself over. Come around the other side. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, hold on. Uh, I need to right. make it tighter. No, the uh, return line. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Don't forget the return line. Or the letdown line, one of the two. What is it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably need a longer line. That's probably a good 200 footer. Awesome idea though. Fucking crazy. Fucking incredible. brilliant, dude. Yeah, it like and a boy, Brian. Kudos. No fucking around, Brian. Serious shit. What you just it. No wonder you're a superstar. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> I need his autograph too. There you go, that's that. That's gonna work good. And the other thing I gotta do is uh, tie the return line on. Alright, so that spool right there, that's my return line. That's, uh, I think it's like 400 feet of uh, 3 8 line, but uh, it's going to uh, have too much of it. I got to cut it because it fit on that spool. I wasn't sure how much I needed, so, so I'm just going to take my return line, snap it on there now. Now I got a return line. All right, here we go. Here's my return line. So this is the line that I'm going to um, bring my dredge or cargo or whatever up from the river with. So how I'm going to make that work, I hope, is this little um, this little winch right here. So what I did is I, I bolted this to the ladder because um, this isn't my land. So I don't want to mess around with the trees or hurt the trees any. So what I'm going to do is just strap, uh, use a come along and uh, strap this ladder to the tree. And, uh, you know, that could work where I'm not hurting the trees at all here. So how this works is uh, I just put my return line right in the groove there and then come up and through there and then all I got to do is uh, crank. There's got to be tension on it for the work so yeah, let me uh, put a little tension on it. Nah, there it goes. But that's all I can do without strapping the ladder and uh, I'll do that tomorrow morning. All right, so there we go. We got one zip line all set up. We got my cargo bag. So now all I got to do is fill it with uh, all my stuff and uh, should be able to zip it down just like that. 
Yeah, I gotta do. Uh, I gotta trim a couple little branches that are in the way, but you know, should work. And then uh, the return line, you know, be able to crank it right back up. So yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be cool. We'll try this thing out in the morning. What do you think, Gaucho? Look at Brian working. Yeah. Work. Rolls out easy. So yeah, check this out. This one bag here carried all this stuff up for me. And I didn't even need to winch it up. I thought I might have to winch it up, but I didn't. Here's my return line. All I had to do was just pull it up, uh, hand over fist, um, all the way up, no problem at all. And I got one load done. And now I'm about to uh, send this baby back down and grab my motor and the rest of my dredge. So I just kind of rigged this on here to hold return line. And there she goes. Going back down. So it doesn't really go down fast when it's empty. But it's just about all the way there. The rest I can just hand pull it with the line. Just gotta make sure that that's free and we're good to go so all right i'm gonna go fill that bag back up yeah the bag got stuck a little bit because uh there's no weight in it so all i gotta do is just grab this line and there she goes it's still like 15 feet up in the air And uh, this is my dredge. I gotta basically put that dredge in this bag. All right, I'm gonna work on that. This is gonna be one of my heaviest loads. And this load, I got uh, I got an anchor with rope. Uh, I got my full motor, an air compressor, and I got my water heater and water filter. I got my jet log and pressure hose. So this is gonna be a pretty heavy load. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take it easy on this one, but. Um, to carry this all the way up there would have uh, been really suck, you know. So all I got to do is uh, pull this all the way up. So that that's up as high as it can go. And now I'm just going to tie this rope off and then go on up the hill and pull it up. All right, I'm on top of the hill and that bag is way the hell down there. It's got my motor and all my stuff in there. So I'm about to uh, pull it up. Taking off the slack and there it goes, it's coming. This is super easy. There it is. Piece of cake. No problem at all. Safe and sound. Everything's in one piece. No problem at all. That was super easy. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna keep using this this zip line here. This thing's amazing. I wish I knew about this like years ago. This makes life way easier. So there you have it.